The subject that's on my mind is Valley of the Dolls, the book, which came out in 1966 and is a pop culture classic. And I turn to it again and again. It's my Bible. Hello, my name is Linda Simpson, and this is Art Forum's Interpretations. Dolls, the motion picture that shows what America's all-time number one bestseller first put into words. If you're unfamiliar with Valley of the Dolls, it follows the story of three girls who are all in showbiz. Anne Wells is the narrator. She's prim and proper from New England and eager to escape that world. There's Neely O'Harris, based on Judy Garland, who begins a descent into hell even as she rises to incredible peaks. And then there's Jennifer North, based on Marilyn Monroe, who is sweet and beautiful, but wants to be loved for her personality and really never truly finds that. And so all these girls are struggling in showbiz, and there's a lot of other characters that are involved too. Well, one of the most iconic chapters, and this is also shown in the movie, is that Helen Lawson, an old Broadway singer, um, bumps into Neely O'Harris, who is one of the main characters, and uh, have a few. There's a very famous um, word, a very famous line. What, what is that line? Well, Broadway doesn't go for booze and dope. Now you get out of my way, because I've got a man waiting for me. You know, there's been lots of pop culture interpretations of Valley of the Dolls, and many I respect. But I, again, a lot of it does focus on the movie. And I think that the book, um, it's one of those books that I don't think could be made fairly into a movie, no matter what the circumstances. I mean, this is 66, and you know, Jacqueline Suzanne tackles issues of drug addiction and homosexuality and you know, infidelity, the struggle to survive in the business world. And so it's not an easy book to read um, in many ways, just because it does have this very, mm, you know, dark sense of the world.